You know, well, I'm going to try to move this body into doing live video at one point in time with direction from you all. But you, you know, you're over the net. There's a lot of people watching. I will not tolerate disrespect among members. I will not tolerate cat calls and loud voices along the curtain. I will not talk, tolerate anything other than respect for each other as Democrats, Republicans, as men and women, as elected representatives. I will not tolerate it today. I will not tolerate it tomorrow or next year. So let's. The worst thing you can do to cut somebody to the quick is use the English vocabulary. And it can, it can do more damage to somebody. And what I like to do when someone is, is doing a bold faced lie, I always call it an unadulterated prevaricator. Now, anyone that wants to uh, tell a bold faced lie, when I was in debate and I said you had just told an unadulterated prevarication, all that means is you're a liar. Now, you don't want to call someone a liar, but you call someone of that Churchillian English language that the gentleman from Burnett U District uses or some of our other members. Let's use the English language to the uses and let's be respectful. We're going to leave tomorrow. Remember that uh, the things you do and see here, is going to, you're going to stay with you your whole life. So let's remember that down in the future. Um, further announcements. Gentleman from Jackson. English speaker, point of personal privilege. State your point, gentlemen. Mr. Speaker, I'd like to thank you for your words in this next two uh, days and the time that we need to work together. I would ask that you, through your leadership, ask the majority party to make sure that you respect the rights of the minority and the voice that we have and the, and the important voice for every bill that we have that comes up. I think a lot of the decorum that happens, that goes down here, is because of too many times being at the dais, ruling with an iron fist, and disrespecting the minority. Mr. Speaker, I pledge to you my cooperation to make sure that we keep our high decorum. Thank I'll, you, Mr. I'll, Speaker. Gentlemen from Jackson, Lavota, you and I have been friends for a number of years. I will pledge to you that. However, I am the Speaker, and my law is word, but I will give you the same respect you would give me if you were Speaker.